Did you know the catacombs in France were formerly a stone quarry? The tunnels run for approximately 200 miles and are full of 6 million Parisian human skulls and bones. Residents living close to cemeteries express their concerns from the empowering stench coming from the decomposing bodies in graveyards close to where they lived. This ultimately led the mayor of Paris to do something about it. So in 1786, the relocation of dead bodies from the graveyards to the tunnels was arranged. The relocation of the dead bodies to the catacombs took over 12 years to complete with the help of 200 grave diggers. The grave diggers would make their way from the graveyards to the catacombs using torches and lanterns under the cover of darkness, collecting the bones of the dead in a basket and carry them to the tunnels where the bones were all dumped. The final remains of skulls and bones were transported to the catacombs in 1860. Parts of the catacomb are closed to the public due to its size and complexity as visitors can easily lose their way. In 1940, during World War II, the French Jews hid in the catacombs protecting themselves from the Germans. Weapons and ammunition were also stored within the catacombs. At one point, parties were held within the catacombs and they had an orchestra playing. Legend says if you find yourself within the catacombs after midnight, be very vigilant as the walls come alive, drawing you further and further into the depths of the catacomb where there is no escape. Visitors must remember the catacombs are an active burial site. You may take photographs but do not eat or drink. You must not touch any skulls or bones and most importantly do not attempt to remove any bones as a keepsake or you will have a visit from the mistress of the catacombs. <coughs>